medical students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Medical 2020 RM. Your test is test number 6 code ENF. Your test was held on 16th of February 2020 and I'll be dealing with the botany section. So the very first question in the botany section is question number 91. Which of the following does or do not confer stability to the helical structure of DNA? This picture shows the helical structure of DNA where these are the nitrogenous bases. This is adenine and this is thymine which is shown over here. Now, adenine pairs with the thymine with the help of double hydrogen bonds whereas the cytosine is bonded with the guanine with the help of three hydrogen bonds. These hydrogen bonds which are present between the two strands or which joins the nitrogenous bases of two strands, they confer the stability to the helical structure of DNA. So these hydrogen bonds are very important as they provide stability to the helical structure of DNA. Now, this plane of one base pair stacks over the other in this double helical structure and this also provides stability to the double helical structure of DNA. What about the glycosidic linkages? This nitrogenous base is attached to the sugar with the help of glycosidic bond or the glycosidic linkage. But this linkage does not provide stability to the double helical structure or you can say helical structure of DNA. Now, which of the following provide stability? Hydrogen bonds and the plane of one base pair which stacks over the another one. So A and B, they provide stability but here in the question it is asked that which does not provide that is C. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92, every MacLeod and McCarty worked to determine the biochemical nature of transforming principle related to Griffith's experiment. Their work led to conclude that. So this experiment which was performed by every MacLeod and McCarty, they determined the nature of the transforming principle. So what was that transforming principle and their experiment was related to the Griffith's experiment. What was Griffith's experiment? Griffith's experiment was on the two strains of the pneumonococcus or diplococcus bacteria, the R strain and the S strain. R stands for the rough, S for the smooth. And there was transfer of some material from the S strain to the R strain, smooth strain to the R strain or the rough strain. But Griffith was unable to identify that material. Every MacLeod and McCarthy determine the nature or the biochemical nature of that transforming principle, that material, and that was DNA. So their experiment determined that the transforming principle or the substance is DNA, not the RNA. Transforming principle is protein? No. Enzyme protease and RNAs affect transformation? No. DNAs can cut the DNA and hence it can affect the transformation because if DNA has been cut, it cannot be transformed, it cannot be moved. So the second one, DNA is the hereditary material. Yes, they concluded that DNA is transferred from one strain to another one and this is the genetic material. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93. Frederick Griffith performed a series of experiments by selecting two strains of bacterium. In the just previous question, we discussed about it that Griffith took the two strains of pneumococcus or the diplococcus bacteria. So in the given examples, you can find the third option is pneumococcus. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 94, match the following columns and select the correct option. Column 1 has bioactive molecules and the column 2 contains source organisms or you can say the organisms from where these bioactive molecules have been extracted. See this, statin is obtained from a yeast called Monascus purpureus. So A matches with third and statins they act as blood cholesterol lowering agents 
So A matches with third, it means option number one and three are ruled out. Now, cyclosporin A. So the cyclosporin A, it is extracted from a fungus called the trichoderma. So B matches with first, option number two is also ruled out. And C matches with two, where clot buster matches with bacterium means this clot buster is streptokinase and this streptokinase is extracted from streptococcus. So this C matches with second. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number 95. Read the following statements and choose the correct option. Statement A, ladybird and dragonflies are useful to get rid of mosquitoes and aphids respectively. Statement B, baculoviruses are excellent candidates for species specific narrow spectrum insecticidal applications. So this ladybird and dragonflies, they are useful to get rid of mosquitoes and aphids respectively. No, it is not like that. It is that ladybird, they are biocontrol agents and they are helpful in controlling the aphids so ladybird for aphids and dragonflies for the mosquitoes so this statement is incorrect as at the end you can find respectively statement b baculoviruses are excellent candidates for species specific narrow spectrum applications yes it is correct so only a is incorrect so the correct option for the given question is option number one let's move to the next question mm -hmm. 